last time on Borderlands. The party joined in a massive tournament, fighting against many warriors, particularly ones from Gloomhaven. After a harrowing bout between warriors, the, yeah, the Borderlands party proved the victors. But now the tournament is left. Three of the Borderlands warriors are left to fight one another to determine who is the true champion of the Tournament of Power. DM, yeah, can is, I, yes. can I uh, make just a little out of combat free action? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a after the intro fades away, Baps and that was gonna... the announcer saying that. Yeah. That wasn't me, <laughs> the DM. Baps is gonna uh, flex, flex Halberd over his shoulders and kind of flex his muscles and then push it down next to him into the stadium and let go of it and move away from it. Oh, so it just gets big. It just gets big. And then he, he puts his fists up. Oh, he's going fisticuffs? All right. Here, put this blue circle here. Oh, crap. I put it in the GM layer. Token layer there. That way we know where the thing is. All right. Should we roll a new initiative? Because this is the initiative from last time. Should Bingo roll initiative, or is he elsewhere? He is elsewhere. Cool, cool. Um, all right, well, count already rolled. So I'll have everybody else who's here roll. Oh, man. Oh, no. Well, I won't be going first, that's for sure. All right. Again, uh, Count, in the audience, what are you doing? Oops, sorry, I was muted. All right, the Count, okay, he's decided he needs to protect Shellport. Therefore, he's going to go down here and start heading towards the bleachers with the passed out Blue Haven crew in them. Well, you did kill one of them. I did and already kill one, one of them. Yeah, one of them was not a Gloomhaven guy. He's just, he was I part of that I last I didn't shoot at him. Rat ass is still alive, uh, but he is laying down, uh, having sort of regained some level of consciousness, uh, but he is, he ain't looking good. The Count's coming to just stab him. All right. At, However the way, far the Count sees get. this, it's not the Count, it's an elf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I, can I make it over there on my turn? Uh, you can dash. Okay. I mean, I think um, dashing gets me to here, but... Uh, okay. And uh, there are two counts sitting here watching the fight. Okay. Question. Is the Wall of Ire still up? The Wall of Ire is still up. Okay. Because the, uh, the other counts are uh, channeling it. Okay. Uh, Droga. As a bonus action. Is that all you do? That's all I do. Yes. All right. Baps. <laughs> Baps is going to look way up at Droga, because Droga is gigantic now, correct? Yes, yes. Droga is large. Up. Uh, 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 all right now, big boy. Let, let, let's see what you got. <laughs> Baps is going to gonna rush him, and with his first attack, he is going to attempt a grapple. Okay. Actually, no, with his first attack, he's going to attempt a push down. And I have to make an athletics check? All right, two athletics checks. All right. Okay, they're at, nor they're at normal because I'm still one level of exhaustion. 
Uh, Babs, what? How is Babs <laughs> doing? Comes up, <laughs> Babs comes up, and as he's running, Droga maybe reaches down to kind of like go across his shoulders, and Babs yeah. jumps up, and all of his weight lands on Droga's shoulders and back, and he just belly flops it. <laughs> he belly flops him down. Slams him down to the ground. The crowd goes crazy. Droga is laughing, but he is still like, I mean, he's still big, so. Now, still... with his second attack, Baps will attempt to grapple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Athletics I believe... checks again. All right. Do I get disadvantage on this point? I do believe I you believe did. so, because you are prone. Goes prone. Actually, then... it it might be it might be washed away because you're large and get advantage on strength checks. Yeah, but it it it, it, it might be okay. nulled out. Yeah. You, it it levels out, but also uh, Droga has a level of exhaustion, so it is just a flat roll from Droga. Yeah. Oh. oh. That's all right. That's all right. I have Baps has another attack. He will attempt it again. Oh no! Another roll. Athletics, you too. Oh, not a great 26. one. Twenty-six. Not very good. Against Droga's athletics. This is harrowing. But it's yeah. enough. Ah. Baps goes and puts Droga in a, a leg lock. He's got, well, he's got his arms, like, around Droga's legs. Yeah. And, uh, how does movement work while grappled? You can drag a target half your speed, assuming you can actually drag Droga. Like, Is that but a... you, you probably have the strength to just do it. Droga's twice as heavy. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, what we'll you can do... at least get two squares. I would say that probably. Okay. How much movement have I used already? You move five, ten. Ten. And so basically, I have ten feet remaining. Okay. No, I'm gonna be honest. You probably have a five foot. Step, you can drag him. Well, I'll tell you what I'll. Be, yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do. Instead of dragging, and we'll see if this is uh, just dumb and not able to do. But Baps will action surge and use the push maneuver. <laughs> you gonna push Droga away, or are you just gonna? I'm gonna push Droga and and use his. Um, just use my movement to keep with Droga and keep grappling. Is that viable? No, you just drag him. You can take the dash action and just drag Droga half your movement. Forward or backwards or however you want to do it. <laughs> well, I can't take another action unless I action surge. I think I think for this I think for this turn then, uh Baps will drag Droga the five five feet towards the edge uh, the left edge of the stadium okay, so basically here yeah can I move to the other side of Droga uh, I mean you did describe you were on top of him so I guess yeah okay So yeah, uh, right. that is is Bap's turn. He's for now yeah. subdued the giant. All right, Bloco. Uh, Bloco's just gonna put their daggers away and start clapping while walking. You know, following <laughs> along. <laughs> and that's Bro, Bloco, that's Bloco's Bro, turn. Drug. Yeah, I'll, I'll start rooting for Droga. Go Droga. Go Droga. <laughs> the count. You're, you're, you're muted. 
sneaking through. All right, Elf Count is going to sneak up and climb up the bleachers on the back here, getting ready to murder his Gloomhaven yeah. victim. I'll say that you can see he's getting up. He's becoming a bit more conscious, but he's disoriented by all the yelling. All right, that's the end of Count's movement. Let's turn. All right. What's this harrowing thing going on in the fucking crowd? This <laughs> <laughs> is Drunka. You are grappled. I am grappled. Being dragged around and bullied. It's okay, because I'm going to spend five feet of my movement to free myself. Okay. Because I'm already <laughs> moving on. I oh. forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Dro Droga just well, well, very... I just imagine Droga very gingerly grabs Bap's hand and just goes, oh, hold on, and just takes it off. <laughs> Slips. <laughs> and, and I forgot gonna, about that. So did Bap. I'm gonna spend half my movement to stand up, so I've got 15 left. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, fuck it. We'll have fun with this. Um, it's gonna be non-lethal damage, obviously, as Drug is gonna underestimate his own strength, as he's just gonna punch forward, and it's it's lightning fist, and it's a uh, and it's, I have pressure, so it's got. Uh, Yeah, I mean, that's gonna hit. Okay. So. It's, it's 15 non lethal altogether. I don't know if you can use lethal to separate magic. You, um, can, you can do it if I guess it's a meal right? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna use pressure to push <laughs> with, the, with the lightning thing to push it back 15 feet towards the grass. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Sh um, shit! is going to hit because he doesn't have his armor. Alright, 18 more damage. Alright. Knocks you back another 10 feet. Yeah, knocks you back another 10 feet. Does Crusher just automatically knock back, or is that... That's her, her lightning thing. Crusher uh, only happens one time in a turn, and yeah, it's 5 yeah. feet. My lightning thing is from... Uh, all right. What 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 else you got, Droga? Uh, bonus action. Um, nothing. We're good. <laughs> All right. Next up, it's you, Baps. You just got bullied around. All right. Yeah, Baps is gonna do it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's going to run around and he's just going to start pushing. <laughs> yeah, get him. Get his ass. Drunk is having fun with this. Let's go. He's just going to come up. He's going to run. He's going to come up with like he's going to punch Droga. And then he's going to do a feint, pivot around, and tackle. Just throw okay. a big tackle push. It's, it's very funny that you're doing grappling and not actually attacking. Very funny because oh. he's, he's about to get your ass grappled. No, that's a push. Oh, I thought you were grappling him and then moving. No, no. This, okay. this is a push. Push. Drug is pushed back. Ugh. Five feet. Because I can't, I can't do anything because I've already moved 15. Yeah. He's going to move forward. He's going to push. Another shove. Mighty heave. I can't, I couldn't beat that one unless I crit. Shoved again. Gonna move forward. He's gonna push. <laughs> no. Not this time. The old man's getting tired. All right, five more feet. All right, Drogi shoved five more feet. Staggering backwards, closer and closer to the edge. 
Oh, goodness. So I was already here. 5, 10. 20, 25. Oh, that might be all my movement. Oh, no. I love that the suspenseful music showed up when that happened. Oh, no. <clears throat> Do I have... Wait! Holy crap! I totally forgot I got this last session. Pushing maneuver! Do it! Do it! Oh, Let's whoa. See it. Let's hit I him! I totally forgot. There's no way Drug is gonna fail that. Uh, so Baps has to. Uh, action surge. Action surged. Okay. And he's, and he's pushing? And he, he re no, he reaches back and he f tries to flat palm punch Droga straight in the center of mass, right in his chest. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right, so I'm going to roll a d20, and then... Oh, no, it's only four uh, plus five, so nine. That's only... It's 14, unfortunately. It probably does not break your uh, break your AC. That does not break my AC. My All AC right. My well, he's got, an, he's got another two tries. Okay. Oh, no! Oh no. That ain't it. Okay, that'll do 24. So that's gonna hit for. How much is uh, uh, just a punch? It's one plus your strength. Okay, so that's only gonna be. Plus your actual strength or your strength mod? Your strength, like, plus. So it's like plus four or plus five. Okay, your strength mod. So it's only six uh, non-lethal damage. But... Dro got, I need, yeah. okay. Oh, man, I so... Save. I so hope. Okay, so... Uh, so, it's a so it's a strength saving throw. It's I do get advantage throw. on those still, but as a no, reaction... No, no, you, you don't because you have the... Uh, wait, yeah, that's not how those, those exhaustion are only against, works. Yeah. Ability checks. All right. Um, I need that strength save. Roll it. Strength, yes. Strength save, and then I'll do my reaction at the same time. Uh, 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 and then my reaction. I need you to make an DC 14 deck save. I will. Oh, here, let me add this. Uh, That's exactly that. brand what it is. Oh, great. One damage, one extra damage to that non-lethal, by the way. Okay, I'll put this. <laughs> so it's six altogether? Seven altogether. Seven, okay. Seven non-lethal. Okay, so you passed it. I need to make what? Uh, you need to make a dex save. <laughs> uh, strength save? Dex. Dex save. Ooh, that's not a good one. Okay, the DC's four. Oh, con. All right, okay, so and, gonna... Indomitable is getting popped for a re-roll. Okay. Baps is going all out. All right, you're going to take half of this, which is five, but you're going to go back ten feet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Okay, so five. Is that it? I believe that was all uh, six of Baps' attacks. So yes. All right, blow go. All right. Um, I got to switch things. Uh, all right, blow go. Will uh walk forward and continue watching the match. All right. The count. You are there. The high ground. All right. I'm gonna come up and violently stab. This rat Gloomhaven piece of shit. The Count, you you have the greatest weapon of all. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Make that attack. Alright. 
Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm gonna say, how does how does the count do this? Oh, no. the, count's, the count's just gonna prison stab him and then toss the dagger into the crowd and walk <laughs> off. He, <laughs> uh, uh, he looks back at you. He sees you. Do you say anything to him? As you drive your shake in his kidneys. I just I just whisper, shell for it. <sighs> and he falls down off the stairs into there and people start getting mad because he like stumbled into them and spilled their beers and stuff and so they start throwing shit at him as he is <laughs> destroyed in the wall of ire <laughs> this dramatic happy music <laughs> oh, uh, right. hold on hold on He's then going to yell Elven Resistance and then run off. <laughs> One guy goes, those damn elves. <laughs> <laughs> they will rem the crowd of ire will remember this. Droga. Dodges right under the fist. Okay. Uh, second one. Fifteen. Nope. <laughs> Dodges to the side of the fist. All right. Dodge, dodge. We, as a bonus action, I'm going to... Um, There's three fifteens. As a bonus action, I'm going to attempt to shove you with my shield. All right, athletics checks. Uh, yeah, do uh, Baps dodges the, the final uh, yep. shove, and he kind of, like, cushions it. He just dodges backwards and cushions it and pushes back. Drogue is having a good time with this one. Um, and then... Is that it for Drogue? That is it for me. All right, Baps. All right, Baps is going to attempt the grapple. All right. Ooh, that's good. All right, grappled. All right, he's gonna pull. Drag Droga. Droga. <laughs> can he maneuver Droga without? Uh, that's not how it works. I want to be on no. the other side of him so I can push him. Ugh. Five, <laughs> ten, fifteen. Fighter, ain't he? See, Pathfinder had a, a, a move called reposition that would let you do what you're trying to do. Yeah, it's really this is this is this is tough because I don't have a push move. Na has a great push move that she just got. Do you have another athlete or do you have another attack? Yeah, I do. I, I have two more. I will let you make a contested athletics roll to attempt to basically fall on your back, so you would be prone. Yeah. To hurl him to the other side of you. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that sounds great. All right. All right. Uh, you, you said a, a contested athletics? Yep. With All the right. downside being you'll end up prone at the end. Oh my god, we're even! Alright. But I believe... Who wins? Who wins on a, 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 a? Do you have anything a, to add? To uh, the person defending. I do. It w it would be a Droga. Okay. Unless you have something to add. Uh, I don't know about maneuvers. Do an athletics checks. Um, I don't think so. I I don't think I have anything like that. Perhaps you you fall prone as you're trying to pull Droga and flip him over you, but then you realize he's very heavy. Yeah, yeah, he is a giant. You could try it again, but you'll have disadvantage because you're prone this time. We'll do it. We'll try All it right. one more time. 
overexerts. All right. That's a 24 oh, is the shit. lowest. I actually get advantage on this one because he is prone. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. He's prone. That does, no, it doesn't. Attack roll against the creature has advantage. This ain't attack roll. This is an ability check. Go. Okay. Damn. 21. <laughs> As you pass. Man, it's to hurl Droga to the other side of you. <laughs> it's like mm. just a big wrestling match. Yeah. That being said, though. That being said. Um. I think Baps is out of juice for this turn. All right. He'll bonus action. Been... He'll bonus action to second wind, but uh, pretty sure Baps is out of juice. I don't. I, that was three, though. So. Yeah. And this is where Bloco goes in for the kill. <laughs> <laughs> he pushes us both with like a like a big wind push spell or something. <laughs> No, I think I can only push Babs with the wind spell I have. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Blogo is uh, actually going to try to to rile up the crowd to see if if he can gain the favor of the crowd. Uh, you will gain a favor of the crowd. All Everybody's right. cheering because you basically spent four turns rallying up the crowd. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll just move a little bit closer. Away. An assassin in the night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were trying to wrap this up, so Cap, uh, Droga. Okay, five, uh, five foot of movement to get free of the grapple. All right. What? We're going to, uh, oh, that's thing. right. You can just do that. That's so, Boom. That's so cool. All right. Free of the grapple. All right. And step over. Yeah, that's basically, no, yeah, actually, the, the, I will do that entirely. We're, we're just going to step over you. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, Sorry, bud. And, and Droga, <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna try to, he's gonna try to punch you out. The sad music playing. It's the big old kid. Droga <laughs> 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 punches attack. the ground. He gets another attack. <laughs> Let's see it, Droga. Okay. He, ha he has advantage. He has okay. advantage. You do have advantage, so actually you do get to. I, I do. I get to roll normally on my first attack. Yes. Okay. So that was gonna hit. Okay. Sweet. Baps, you go back 15 feet. And are hurled off the edge. Baps is hurled off the edge, and midair he just goes. Just, just, good, good, good job. Ring out. <laughs> All right. We move he lands to, in a big heap of just, you know, flab and muscle and stands up right. and starts to clap as Droga moves on. All right, now we're moving to Bloco with uh, the additional movement. We're going to punch him back. All right. Go. 22. Does 22 hit Bloco? 22 will just hit, however... What is that uh, brush stroke thing where I get to roll a thing? Uh, reaction, brush stroke evasion. I get to roll a dexterity saving throw, and if it's higher than the 22, then I don't get hit. So. Nope. I 15, get hit. So unfortunately, you will get hit. All right. knock And knock back 10 feet. Knock back 10 feet, and you, uh, you take 12. Remaining movement left. Right All right, Baps is ringed out. Take people off the initiative, so we just got this. All right, Bloco, go. All right, uh, Bloco will run to the other side of Droga <laughs> and, and throw out uh, some unarmed strikes. That's not it. Not a one. All right, that's it. I'm gonna spend a key point, so make a Constitution saving throw against stun. Sixteen. All right, you're stunned. You are stunned, Droga. 
and you take uh actually that should be two on the top one so that should be 13 let me put that damage back on for the frost straps um and then i'll spend a key point to do actually wait hold on how much movement did i move fuck i should have paid attention 35 35 Okay, no, then that's not worth it there. Uh, but I will uh, make two unarmed... I'll spend that key point to make two unarmed strikes at advantage against a stunned opponent. Alright. 29's hit. gonna hit. Yep. And next is... And... That's just a hit. Yep. yep. Uh, that'll be bludgeoning, yeah. It's the bludgeoning. Is that it for Bloco? That is it for Bloco this turn. All right, Droga, you are stunned. stunned. Yes. It's Bloco again. Oh. All right. Um. <laughs> no. Let's see. Five, ten, thirty. Will it be a stun lock? <laughs> stun lock defeat. Well, he might just. I'll run uh, 35 feet over here. I'm gonna spin the key to use my water whip. And Ooh. as you're stunned, I believe you auto fail a deck saving throw. That is true. Oh man. So you are water whip, uh, how far? Uh, uh, right up, feet. Yeah, right up Let's next see. to me. So just right there. Ooh. And then, uh, for my action, I'm gonna try to keep the stun going. So I'll spin another key con point. Save. Yeah, con save. Oh, you passed it. But you still take uh, that 12. However, that works, I guess, if you're raging, it's yeah. halved or something. Uh, so it's uh, seven damage. All right. Uh, unarmed strike again. Our strike. Let's see it. I think 15 I missed. Is 15 hit. No. All right. All right. And then Blogo's gonna run the remaining 25 feet towards the center of the stage. Is that is that provoked? No, you're stunned. Uh, it's not, but you're now, stunned. but now you're not stunned. You're, but now you're not stunned because it's your turn. Okay. So I'm trying. Sorry, I have to Oh Second. damn, I just realized Loco could have like jumped up the arena in midair and used water with. I know. Uh, that's and what I've been already said. Well no, I've already, already had that land here. Yeah, I've had my uh that in my mind, but there's certain limitations to that, so I haven't had the opportunity yet. <laughs> wow. Would you would you say the momentum of water with is still kinda in practice because it happens in six seconds? Uh Explain what you're trying to do real quick. I want, Go. I want to feign falling off the stage. Uh, you want, do a performance if you want to pretend to fall off the stage. Yes, like I wanted to go with the momentum as like like as he's leaving and, and like he's like done some like full punch. I want to like continue to like to just go with it. All right, we're gonna need a performance. What's the okay. what's the are Japanese? Are you actually are you Not actually trying to fall off the yes. stage? Okay. Okay. Yeah, what's the what's the Japanese need... word for the uh, the the artistry of wrestling? I need everybody to make insight checks against the sixteen DC. All right. Babs gets it. Babs knows it. Bloco knows it. it. <laughs> As... Does the audience know it. Does the audience know that I'm gonna just roll a flat D20? No, the audience no. fucking buys it! As, as drug is gonna go, oh! And then it, the race is gonna end and he's gonna get small as it goes. He falls off the side of the stage. And we have the winner! Bloco! Yeah, Bloco right, throws his fits up in the air in celebration. <laughs> yeah, dude. Everybody goes get ballistic. Good job! Woo! 
Rogue is just leaning on the other side, like, he's, like, fake, like, unconscious, and then, like, he just open eyes, looks at Babs, and just winks, and then closes his eyes again. Uh, Razzle D. Dazzleton comes running up to you with your prize, uh, a large tournament cup, uh, which we showed last time as a rare Yasnik uh, artifact. Chastel, uh, the Chalice of Withering Indel or Intellect, um, as well as a scroll tube, uh, a really ornate one with jade, um, with a jade casing and gold calligraphy on either side, um, which has a map in it. As everyone cheers, going crazy, as we fade over to a new scene. Um... Where's the song I was looking for? Here it is. <laughs> As Horus. Horus. Horus, you are here in front of the orc caves. <laughs> uh <laughs> am i like right You're up in the orc? i'm yes. in the orcs am i yes. uh am i uh proselytizing to them um you you have come you were sent here to figure out what these orcs wanted uh they seem to be threatening the paladin shabethany but having come here you have very quickly realized that these orcs are Maybe justified in what they <laughs> what they were doing. I come up and I'm like, "Hey, um, have you guys heard the good word?" Oh yeah. Have you heard the good you're, news? You're, you're a, a paladin, Yasni, right? Oh yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, we tried to tell that other guy about uh, about why we're here, but he kind of freaked out and screamed and ran off. Oh, which guy was that? Not certainly not El Chad because he no, was no, dude, run off. dude with dude with glasses. He was wearing Yasnik robes and stuff. Uh, he's oh. like a nerdy yeah, what's, guy. What's that, guy's, what's that guy's name? Melvin, I think he yelled. He yeah, said, "Oh my Melvin. God, Melvin, yeah. run!" I don't know why yeah. he said that. The third person that was pretty fucking cringe, if you ask me. Yeah, Melvin, Melvin's pretty cringe. It's uh, it's actually this orc has has come up to you. Um, these ones are unique. They're gray-skinned orcs. There's nothing wrong um, with that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, but it is unique. You know, most of the time you think you think red, you think green. Um, yeah. As they go, yeah, yeah. Um. So, yeah, we ain't got no problems with like the paladins of Yasni. We were trying to tell that to him, but he just sort of, you know, ran, ran away. Off. Yeah, he ran away. Uh, no, Shabethany, you see, oh, it's pretty complicated. Uh, basically, our, our current chief uh, is the son of, uh, of Domgark, who was the ruler of the five clans, dwarven clans, before the Great Wars. I mean, you're, you're, you're Yostick, you, you know all this. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I definitely know all of this. Yeah, yeah but... Shabethany was taken as Domgark's like battle bride and she did some pretty awful stuff they they like I don't know man I don't even talk about it but yeah but I've Dom, seen Dom, I've seen her I've seen her dating profile yeah Domgark he was just not the same afterwards and so Moltak his son came here to get revenge on her but apparently she's not here anymore. Some of, the, some of the other orcs came and told us that. Um, so we were just gonna leave. Uh, you know, but we just can't leave in like a day. Like we we did have to, you know, kind of prep to leave. Sure, I don't know, yeah, this is sure. all this is all kind of awkward. So you uh, guys are you guys are looking for Shabethany? Yeah, yeah, but apparently she left on a boat. 
I wonder if she left with Bingo. I don't know who that is. Yeah, you wouldn't know him. He's a friend of mine. Good friend. Fellow hero. Yeah. Um, so, man, I'm sorry you had to come out here. Like, That's all know, right. I mean, that, I mean, this is, you know, this is pretty awkward on my end. Uh, well, is there anything wait. I can help you with while, while I'm here? No, no, man. Like, you, you're cool. I mean, just going back and telling them that we're no, you know, we're no danger. Or nothing. That's probably the best you can do. Uh, in fact, here, uh, one of our scouting parties uh, told us Shabethi was busy. Brought us back these, like, weird mushrooms. Oh, let me get those so mushrooms. You, yeah, if you want to take a bite. Yeah. Like, I mean, they're pretty yeah, good, apparently. I'll try uh, one. Horus. You take a bite and you get really fucking high. Woo. Hey man. <laughs> like what am I hallucinating? You you're um you're sitting here talking to them and they're like, dude, are you okay? Whoa. And Horace, you fall unconscious. You know, you, oh, you no. basically you fall prone and you start falling unconscious, and they're like Oh shit, man! I'm sorry. I'm like, I didn't realize these fucking shrooms were messing you up that bad. I'm like, hey, can I brand one of you guys just to tell the boss? <laughs> dude, I, no, no, dude, we'll get you some more or something. And these other orcs are laughing, and this orc he starts yelling at the orc next to him in orcish, like, "You motherfucker!" And he pulls out his weapon, like pissed off at this orc, and they're yelling while other ones are pointing and laughing at you. And it's at this point in the distance, El Chad and the group come across the scene of Horus unconscious and a bunch of orcs yelling and laughing and pointing at, with their weapons out. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what a horrible scene. <laughs> It's cool, guys. Who's with El Chad? Is Vinny with him, or what's going on with Vinny? Yeah, Vinny's with him. Okay, cool. And Ethan. I'm gonna roll my initiative, even though I am <laughs> unconscious, just in case I get get up and at him, you know? Yeah. I do love this, because I like this idea that no one has any context to what's happening. Yeah, that, like, clearly it looks like I've been assaulted by orcs. Yeah. Horus is like barely able to stand. He's like he's like rolling around trying to, to get back to his feet. Oh, where is Ethan again in the in the folders? Uh he's in Casa de Yaz. Casa de Yaz, okay, there we go. Now here's the thing. I, I I'm gonna ask the group this. We can continue this this line of logic, or we can jump into the dreamscape because Horus is unconscious off of shrooms. Unless <laughs> Nate, you have some setup you need. There's a there's a a little bit of setup that we got to do in this. In this borderlands. Okay. So, uh, El Chad, try to get it, uh, try to fix this, uh, uh, what is, what's the word? Situation. Without violence. Conundrum. <laughs> Did this motherfucker just say try to fix this without violence? <laughs> you, you could try <laughs> using encouraging words. Out of game. <laughs> it's fucking. Jesus Christ. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I imagine I imagine our med has felt a disturbance. That's what sort of led to that. A disturbance in the force. Do, do you oh, really Chad. want me to fix this without violence? Get yes or no, Nate. Yes or no, Nate. Yes. Okay. Chad, what do you do seeing Horus surrounded? 
Oh, yes. <laughs> like an orc vitality potion yeah. and then run across the river yelling and screaming <laughs> that he's going to murder late everybody roll an intimidation <laughs> check with advantage <laughs> they flee into the cave um, at least the ones that can these other ones just start running off into the woods <laughs> hey man we don't want no trouble <laughs> such nice orcs <laughs> Chad's like foaming at the mouth with just a fucking huge heart on <laughs> So they're they're all like basically taking a defensive position, hoping that you don't come closer in. <laughs> Al Chad in his rage just says, "Oh, I'll do what Shabethany did, but worse." Oh God! You see, uh, one of the orcs he drops his banner and runs off, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> As, um, as El Chad is doing this, what is the rest of the party doing? Uh, should we go in order? Uh, guys, uh, 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 I don't even want to look. It's kind of awkward, you know? Vinny. Yeah, Vinny would be like, Ethan, hurry! We gotta ford that river. River. It sounds like someone's in trouble over there. And Nah, it's tinier than she's <laughs> ever been. It might be the shrooms. That was with the Yars, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Ethan and Vinny start fording the river in with the trash can. Yeah. Does that require a check? I need Ethan to make a, uh, a strength check. All right. Drink. Why is there another gnaw here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't I know. The other tiny gnaw. All right. As you and, and Ethan are uh, wading this knee-high river, uh, and by river I mean stream, and by stream I mean brook, as he goes, oh no! Me! <laughs> he gets swished away. Ethan, I'll save you. Am I like floating down the river now too? <laughs> or do I no, sink to the bottom and stay <laughs> in the trash? You can. sink to the... Sitting down, it's like just to your waist. It's not even that deep. The fact that he got caught up in it is a testament to how much he's been eating. My steed! <laughs> I'll save you! Help. So he gets a nah. Um, Na is going to move and run, run straight across. Obviously, is this a river? Yeah. Is this a, a bad terrain? Uh, no, it is literally not difficult in any capacity, except for the fact that that dude was high off his rocker. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's gonna use your her action to dash. All right. And, the orcs and, look terrified. They yeah, see a she, feral child. <laughs> she runs up to, to Horus, uh, brandishing uh, Sarath, and just kind of standing over him protectively. 
<laughs> and that'll be her turn. All right, Yars. Yars is gonna run across. He's actually gonna dash. He's gonna say, "Get horse out of here." He looks hurt. And then his turn. <laughs> Help, Chad. You see Horace barely able to stand. You're roided out. You're muted also. El Chad's running for the fucking orcs. <laughs> okay, they're like, oh! <laughs> oh my god. If, if the one in front of me doesn't back away, he's gonna get murder -lated. The one in front of you is like, dude, we don't, we, we don't want no trouble! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Our bed also runs forward. And uh, he uses minor illusion to make El Chad's member look even bigger. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <turn. laughs> Horace, you are slowly regaining consciousness. Oh, you're muted also. Brad might have had to step away. I think he, yeah, he put BR back. He, he. he is still unconscious. <laughs> Vinny. Um, <clears throat> Vinny's going to start trying to run after Ethan, but he's not going to go anywhere because he's still in the trash can. Um, yeah. Uh, I want to make an insight check to see if he realizes that that's the problem that he's stuck in the trash can <laughs> okay <laughs> can you get have a dc for that i don't know what it should be i'll just roll it i got right. i got a dc for some all right cool cool oh 25 you realize for sure that it's because you're stuck in the trash can but as you're stuck in the trash can dim one who is on your shoulder goes hey vinny yeah I think it's because you're stuck in a trash can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. And then Dimwan is gone. That's that's weird. But I got to save Ethan. And so I'm going to cast Misty Step. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'll get I'll get to him and I'll just latch on to him. <laughs> Hold on to me, man. And he's like very slowly like being drifted away don't worry this i'm is like a lazy i'm river. your savior ain't i yeah yeah you are don't let go <laughs> this is dripping out <laughs> yeah. um oh hold it it was the orcs because they're at the top of the order they <laughs> they'll chat they they run further into the cave Listen, we don't want no trouble. Ah. Uh, here, we'll reveal some more of the cave. Um, as it's not. Oh man, I bet the old man, the tiny old man is hidden somewhere in this cave. We really do need to assault it now. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, um, not we have a duty. going to grow. Nah is going to grab onto Horus and drag him. She's going to use her, her uh, incredible strength, her incredible strength and her action to dash. All right. <laughs> and pull him right by here past this orc. And then this she's going to look over at the orc, the orc and be like, oh, what? <laughs> he throws the bow down and puts his hands up. <laughs> uh, Nas is, is uh, fairly speechless. Maybe she says something in her druidic language, but uh, that is her turn. Yeah. And spits, probably. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yards. Yards gonna go gonna run out to El Chad and go sun's getting real low bud we gotta get out of here 
but the debt's being know. pitched high. <laughs> sun, sun's getting low, bud. We gotta we gotta find Wait, some water. Who is this character? Is that Jeeves? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's our med with his sunglasses. Party our med? Yeah. Party our med with the floral shirt. Love it. Right. And, uh, yeah, so that's gonna be Yars' turn. El Chad. I wish I, I wish I could make a party Babs, but I don't right. have the the facility with the AI. El Chad looks at his Ragey correction. Then he looks at Yars. Then he looks back at his Ragey correction. Says, "Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Come on, let's find some cold water." He's gonna, he's gonna follow yours. All right. <laughs> That's our med. <laughs> our med. Oh gosh, can our med do anything? Let's see. He's got, he's got to, he's got to calm the situation down somehow, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh man. You know, he's just going to say, let's go, guys. We, we got to go. And he's going to run back. All right. Running away. Uh, Horace, you are really tripping balls. He's like, not is picking you up and carrying you around. You feel as light as air. I'm going to grab one of, her, one of her nasty dreadlocks and just start, like, licking it. In this haze, you get the impression that the only way you could cure yourself is with the holy water of Yasni, which is at the chapel of Yasni. Am I able to communicate via words? Um, say what you want to say, and then I'm going to need you to make a performance check <laughs> to determine how accurate that what you say is. I'm going to say that I need to go to the chapel of Yasni to get some water. Okay. Nine. Uh, nah, you hear Horace say, I need that Yasni water. Hey, okay, let's go. And she's gonna pull him into the river and up it. <laughs> like, obviously, dragging she's dragging him, dragging him through the river. She's not tall enough to really yeah. lift him up over. He's also wearing armor. But yeah, it, I'm wearing you know, dwarven sea dwarf armor, which is like super heavy. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. The the, the like mud, the mud is 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 nice, and you know, Nas pretty muscular lubricating yeah so she drags him uh semi head up up the river all right and with that assuming the party is is going to head off to the chapel of yasni we can we can swap over there <gasps> Bingo is <laughs> having been left there by uh by Melvin. Oh Gertrude. Yeah, Gertrude was there too because she was unconscious. Am I unconscious? Uh, you are. Um, Maybe lying in the pew? Yep. You are awakened by Gertrude uh, shaking you around. And you oh. think maybe it's because your daughter is having a, a moment of where she's worried and wants to make sure her dad's okay. No, wait. She's in your bag digging out stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I slap hey. her hand. I was laughing. Hey. <laughs> Don't, hey. don't, don't touch my sack. 
Okay, one, that's disgusting. Two, it's not that I, was disgusting. I, like my, I was getting my stuff you took. Uh, I don't think I took your stuff. What are you talking about? Um, my jacket's in there. Um, pretty sure that's my jacket. Just because you paid for it. You gave it to me as a gift. It's my jacket. Mm. Nothing's really yours if you don't have a job, Gertrude. Oh my God. We're not living under... I'm not, I don't live under your house anymore, okay? I can make my own decisions. I'm a grown-up. I'm five years what? old. Is that grown-up in, in, in Wuggling Ears? <laughs> it is, he's actually. Asking, he's asking Gertrude. Like, he doesn't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We only live to be like 30. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, <laughs> Dad. Hey, I guess I should have thought about that. Your your short, sad little life when I created these <laughs> half, few half frog abominations. You know, remember the last time we talked to one another? Barely. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember. Remember where I... Oh, Bingo is wearing some holy underwear. Any pants? Um, no. You have a toga made of a sheet that they gave you. All right. Um, He'll, actually, it is important you do have a magic item, which is this. Ooh. Uh, Long of John. Yeah. I said that you were a villain who did bad things. And oh, you're really yeah. not you're really not helping that case. I now. saved you from devil, if I remember and correctly. I've been saving a lot of people without did, you around. Who so did you save? I saved a group of uh I saved a group of sailors. I helped That's a what they call group. these days. Yeah, and I helped a group of uh, Yuan T who were endangered and being prosecuted. Persecuted. Uh, are, you I saved... about a snake? are you talking about a snake cult under the town? They're not a cult. They have responsibilities that, you know, that's something you don't even understand. Well, I have a boyfriend. Think... Yeah, is he one of those snake cultists? No. Is, is he? I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> I was just hoping you would be like, I don't know, something. You would have some emotion to it. You're an adult. You're five. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. As long as you don't date reptiles, I don't care. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, there he is. There he is. He's coming out. Oh. Uh... You didn't like it when I had a, a lizard. And now your true colors. Right out for display. Listen, I'm just saying those reptiles are bad news. Oh my god, I can't believe you. They it's live in the this, sewers. It's in this argument that the rest of the group shows up. I'm not going to listen to my dad make specious claims. They're not. Listen, they, just, they tried to destroy the whole town. They didn't pretty, destroy. I'm you make sure. it sound like you've never tried to destroy the whole town or no, that I, you haven't. I saved the whole town. I'm the greatest thief who ever lived. I slew a giant dragon earlier oh yeah that was a fun story when i was in school and i had we had parent day and i had to explain what my dad did and it was he was the greatest thief who ever lived <laughs> and he probably stole from jamie wilson's fucking dad's safety deposit box i did do that yeah that was their life savings and Ten that's what gold. paid for that jacket Ten <laughs> Dead gold, man. That's what paid for that goddamn jacket. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! You know what? Fuck you! <laughs> She's just like screaming at you at this point. 
the group just walks into the most awkward way. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Not, not comes in cartwheeling <laughs> next to Vinny. She's just like, we won, Uncle Vinny. Where's Babs? I love Babs. Babs is so great. <laughs> I love my dad. <laughs> yeah, we did win. I, look, where did he go? That crazy little, that crazy little psycho loves her dad. <laughs> well, maybe it's because her dad's around and not going and stealing stuff. You're the one that ran away. I ran away because I had to. And you know what? I'm honestly not surprised that, you know, nobody else has run away yet. Well, I've got ankle monitors for them after you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not my fault. How many kids you got, Bingo? It's, it's not my uh, fault. That, two dozen. It's not my fault that mom made you wear that locate creature ring. Yeah, that really put a damper on some of my activities, I gotta say. <laughs> Brothel every night. <laughs> The, the weird thing is, it was just to steal money from it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just there. Uh, I'm only. I'm only there to commit crimes. <laughs> oh my god. Aren't you Robin, Robin Hood? Robin Hood ain't got shit on Bingo Bobbins. Anyway, where did I get this robe? Ooh, hey guys, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're just uh. Saving Horus. Oh. Well, I guess... I guess Nas saved Horus, but he's come up here for, uh... What did you want here, Horus? He almost he, am I still unconscious? You, you are barely able to see and stand, but in the distance you see it. The holy decanter of Yasni. The only thing that can sober a high this strong. I'm gonna try and stumble towards it. With my hand outstretched like water. <laughs> uh, do I have to roll like a. Make a con save. Eight. Eight. Hey. You... Uh, Yars catches your stumble. And he's like, come on, old buddy. Come on. Oh. We'll get you there. I partied a little too hard with those orcs. Oh. As you are Wait, taken, good. go ahead. I was gonna say, as you're taken to the the holy decanter, you take a sip, and you are instantly cured of any sort of hangover and or ailment. Ooh. What did they do to you? Um. Well, you know we. We were getting along pretty good. I was telling them about Yasni and and uh, how he cares about all the creatures, including even orcs. You know, even orcs. And uh, you know, we started partying, and uh, and they had some mushrooms, and uh, I took some. And they didn't they didn't hurt you. Well, I mean, orcs, I, I mean, I was I was tripping my balls off. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I was. I could have died, but that was kind of my fault. I, I ate the mushrooms, you know. <laughs> we thought you were in a battle. Well, I mean, you could say in a certain sense that I was in a battle. <laughs> oh, Chad scared them away with his boner. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, have you seen it? Yes. <laughs> it's. I will say. As a, as a as a heterosexual paladin, it is pretty impressive. <laughs> well, at least we, we didn't kill him, honestly. Scary, scaring away orcs with a boner is just like... That's uh, in uh, chapter 36 of the Osnick playbook. Yeah. You know, works every time. Yeah. They're really insecure in their, in their orc... Or could. Yeah. Yeah. All the stuff you hear about them, it's all lies. They're actually very insecure. Mm -hmm. That's why they're so aggressive. Mm. Gertrude, Who's you would like be making. 
Gertrude <laughs> will be making small talk with Nah. Very friendly small talk. But in this video, he waves at you and goes, Hey man, I'm Ethan. Okay. I'm, I'm Vinny's ward. Yeah, in my steed. Yeah, in his steed. Oh. All right. He wants some mushrooms and he holds up a bag of <laughs> mushrooms that, yeah. that look suspiciously similar to the ones you ate from the orcs. I'll eat half as much this time. All right. You, you're getting the good buzz. And then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm going to lay down on this pew over here and I'm just going to like look at the stained glass windows for a while. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of zone out for a bit. All right, guys, let me know if you need anything. I'm going to contemplate the mysteries of the universe. Heck yeah, man. Not like anything bad's going to happen. And oh, shit. That was Vinny. a weird thing to say. <laughs> Vinny, brother. <laughs> Yeah. What's uh, what's on your foot? Uh, then he's gonna look down. I don't know what's on my foot. You see a ring of fire around your feet. Oh God! What the hell is that? As, whew, Vinny, you are engulfed in flames, and fall into a pit of fire, like in the famous 1997 hit film Spawn. <laughs> Falling through a tunnel of fire, you eventually find yourself here. Uh, hello there. This seems familiar, Ooh. but also not. Around you, clicking and clacking and scribbling of paperwork is done by imps and quasits. You see different humans and elves and orcs and other creatures um, sitting in front of desks, uh, seemingly discussing about packs and other uh, sort of infernal things. Um, but standing in front of you is a large demon, two of them. One of them is sitting at a desk flipping through the books. Another one is smoking a large cigar and staring down at you. Hey, uh, your infernal pact with, you, mu uh, you must be uh, Dim Wan's friends, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh. And he poofs out this big bellowing thing of smoke. Uh, the large creature in the back. The other one doesn't seem to talk. Uh, he's just sitting there scribbling. The one in the back goes, Yeah, you're a... Uh, well, I don't know how to tell you this, uh, but I'm sorry. There has been a unfortunate incident involving your patron. What what happened? Oh, I'm I... Lord Yenma, by the way. Yenma. Have I heard that name from Denwan before? Uh, you did not, but you know who Lord Yenma is just by making an infernal contract in the first place. Okay. So, <clears throat> here's the deal. There has been an unfortunate, uh, issue. Uh, it seems that a reality-bending spell done by a grammarian has caused your pack leader to be, uh, deposed of his position. Uh, fired, if you will. What sort of asshole would do that? Um, hey, what is it? And the man at the chair flips through a book and then he points at something and he goes, oh, yeah. someone uh, called the Count. He used uh, some sort of grammarian spell, uh, fire all. Um, it seems that it, it caused a bit of an issue. Okay, well, that makes uh, sense. Here's the thing. Normally, I'm not going to say that this thing is, uh, is is uncommon, but it you know it happens from time to time. Normally, what happens is you lose your powers for 48 hours or so, and you know then we reinstate the demon or devil uh, that is part of your patron back into his position, and it's not an issue, right? 
But you're a special case. Uh, your patron can't return to the hells. Uh, well, seems like when he was summoned back here, uh, well, on, it's, uh, well, it's because he's been split into three parts, his shade, his soul, and his body. Uh, so he was rebuked back to wherever his soul was. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, we do have things in place for that. Now, uh, granted, you can, because it is on our end, it is a problem. I suppose you could take the deal of losing your powers and, you know, not spending eternal damnation here in hells, but, you know, you probably don't want that. But don't worry. We have a... <laughs> we have a 90-day temporary pact uh, sort of holdover when these things happen. Basically, we will give you a temporary demon or devil of your choosing to be your uh, patron for a little while till you reconnect with your actual patron and reestablish the pack. I mean, it's a pretty sweet deal, all things considered. All right. Um, is there any fine print I should look at? Nah, you're good. You already signed the pack. This is all just part of the package, so to speak. Um, but you do uh, deny the loss of powers and freedom of your soul from eternal damnation, yeah? Yeah, I mean, these powers are cool as shit. All right, you got them back. <laughs> well, here, uh, and uh, four pieces of paper fall in front of you with pictures and names. Now, I will say that uh, whichever temporary pack leader you decide to pick, uh, you do get a free uh, evocation with it, uh, unique to that paper. So uh, we'll just do a quick little rundown here. We got Bureaucraxis, the bureaucrat of uh, Behemoth. We have uh, Gluttonous, the Lord of Excess. Um, there's Malignignor, the uh, bureaucratic tyrant, our bureaucratic tyrant. Um, and then we do have one demon left over. It is Glup Shido, the Slimy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take Glup Shido. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm, I'm tempted just on the name. Let's see what they all do. <laughs> So two devils, two demons, you get to choose, you know, obviously of your choice. Uh, and again, it's a 90 day temporary pack thing. You will have to, you know, obviously abide by your new patrons, uh, patrons rules, but they are a soft rule. Um, you will be in contact with them from time to time. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, I'm sorry about the whole inconvenience. This thing, you know, it happens. Um, we try to solve it as quickly as possible, but you know, you can only do so much. All right. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just take a few minutes to review, uh, each of these, uh, uh, yeah, demons yeah, no, and devils. Yeah. Take your time. Um, but I will say if you do not pick within 48 hours, you will lose your powers. So, uh, you know, just keep the papers with you. Uh, whichever one you decide to do, uh, just, uh, you know, do the, do the standard thing. Cut your, slit your wrist and, uh, and pour the blood on top, top of the tablet there and you should be good. All right, right, will do. All right, and again, you know, I just want to make this clear. We may be demons, fiends, you know, from the pits of hell, but I am very sorry that you have to go through this inconvenience. Well, you know, I, I really appreciate that you're trying to make it right and all, you know? Of course, we're, we're always trying to make it right down here. You know, we want to make sure that deals are paid. Um, all right, well, have a good time. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, can you step a little to the right? Yeah. All right, thank you. And a big pillar of fire bursts around you as you are re-summoned back to the Chapel of Coxie. <laughs> that was weird. I, I think I might... Um, yeah, I think that might be the last time I do mushrooms. Um, and then I'm assuming I'm going to look down and see the papers in my hand and be like, oh shit, that was real. Yep, and you do see soot and ash around your feet. 
Um, <laughs> as your patron was fired by the count. <laughs> That's like hilarious. Perfect. <laughs> out of game that was why the old man was making a phone call <laughs> um so there are some some patrons you get to pick 48 hours you have to pick them otherwise you lose your powers until you pick one okay um all right but i think that's pretty much everything that i have had set up so I will just leave off with uh, I'll play some eerie music real quick as um, all of this has been happening Ahmed there is, there is a disturbance um, that vision from last time in a brief moment floods your mind leaving you staggered a bit. It kind of, you know, knocks you off your feet. Ooh. Ahmed, flooded by this memory, he goes, the old man. Where's the old man? And he starts running out of the, running out of the church, yelling, old man! Oh man! The old man does not show up. Or do you need him to? I actually I need don't the old know. man to show up. <laughs> okay. As you are yelling, old oh, man, old oh, man, um, you don't see the the large old man show up. But you hear something, a muffled noise. Make a perception check or an investigation to try to find it. All right. Well, I gotta click it. Investigation. There we go. A seventeen. You you hear something. It's close. Almost like he is in your mind. I I'm right here. Are you? And then you realize it's coming from your breast pocket. Ah. <laughs> I pull it open and I say, "How how long have you been there?" In here the whole time. Jeez. Well, I, uh, that's very convenient. I, did you just get a vision? He is also very tiny. Yeah. I, I'm going to guess you didn't. I'm going to guess you didn't. I see. But I get I, visions all the time. Uh, I, okay. I, we don't have much time. I, I saw I a flame. Your... A flame in a desert. I saw a shadow being pulled there. Ooh. I saw me, but bigger, lost in a desert. Oh man, I need to do something very what important. What did you see? Yes. I saw, I saw Maillard floating towards me in the, the void. When he was reaching his hand out to me and I tried to grab his hand, but just before we were gonna grasp tentacles, came out of the the cloud and pulled him away from me and he he yelled at me for help that's really bad oh I, I gotta go find him but I can't get back with this and he shows the old man the smash to pieces pipe ah uh, yeah that is pretty broken would you, you like fix this, make, please? Would you like to make it right? <laughs> Anything. The barter. I will fix it for you. And in return, I ask for a favor. What do you need? That's the fun part. I don't know. But I know I'll need one at some point. Give me a favor at a later date, and then I will fix your little thing. Ahmed thinks to himself a moment, but the situation's 
too dire. He spits in his hand, holds it out to shake hands with the the old man. He, the old man sees that. He gives a nod, and it's a deal. And he spits in, in our man's hand and <laughs> shakes his hand. And when it does, Ahmed, it's not like some like weird magic thing happens. You just get a strange feeling, um, sort of like a shiver up your spine when you shake his hand. Um, and then he pulls out of his pocket the hookah. Perfectly fine. Oh, here, here you go. Thank you, old man. Uh, and he starts to run away. Uh, but then he goes, wait, do you, do you need a ride? And he pulls open his breast pocket again. Yes, I, I shall follow you into this adventure. Okay. And he climbs into your breast pocket. But it's weird. When you when he jumps in, you just see him falling as if he's falling into a void and getting smaller <laughs> and smaller and smaller. You're like, man, this little guy's so strange, you know? And then he run Ahmed runs back in. And he goes, he goes, guys, Mayard's in trouble. I got to go help him. And uh, everyone would have gotten the same, the same, uh, the same vision. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, so Horace. Yeah, actually, Horace wasn't here for that. Yeah. So Horace, in your sort of stupor, you did have a vision. And this is kind of a recap for everybody. Um. You were floating in an empless, uh, empty void when Maillard, a small figure in the distance, uh, sort of gets your sight. It's Maillard. He's floating uh, off in this void, this large black and red cloud swirling behind him. As he uh, is floating there, he is reaching towards you as if trying to, to reach out to you. But as he does, black tendrils lurch out of that cloud behind him wrapping around him he keeps trying to get closer and closer to you his fingertips almost touching you before he is fully enveloped and the only words he is able to sort of mutter out to you is help before he is yanked back into that cloud and you are sort of shaken away whoa guys I've been tripping no, no, I think I think that one was real. Are you fucking with me right now, Ahmed? Did you just see Mayard get pulled into a cloud with tentacles? I did see that. D yeah. Did you see that? I saw it too. Bingo? Bingo crosses his arms. <laughs> says, I, I, I don't know, Dad. Did you fucking see anything? Like, you know, it sounds like a call to action. Bingo looks at Gertrude. He says, heroes help when there's a guy getting captured by tentacles in a cloud. And that's why I will be joining you on your quest. Uncle Bingo. Uncle Bigo. Yes? Shut up. Hey, Trudy. You want to see this weird thing I found? All right. I do put my hands on my hips. <laughs> very, very firmly on my hips at this. Yeah. Na reaches into her hair and pulls out the fur bloid. Oh, damn. Those things are cool. They're all over. You want to go look for some? Yeah, sure. Good to see you, Uncle Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> she runs off. Yeah. It is at this point, Ahmed comes to a horrifying conclusion. Some of these people seem really disinterested in helping me, Art. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Ahmed is going to race out of this building and, and, uh, and, uh, 
he's gonna he's gonna grab the he's basically gonna take an hour or so and uh, gather up all the people who are interested in helping who also saw the vision and tell right. them to meet back here at the church he's out of breath and uh, he's sitting right here and he's Hor beginning to Horus, spark up the hookah Horace will help I think I don't I'm not running both my characters right so Bing, bingo no. just was bingo was just talking <laughs> talking shit when uh, when he Gertrude was, was hype. he was talking he was talking hype when Gertrude was there but then as soon as she leaves he says hey guys I gotta tell you I've I'm really tired. Um, <laughs> he goes, "Oh man, I just remembered. I have a thing." Yeah, I have to. I <laughs> I have to uh, talk to um, my uh, literary agent about a book deal that I'm working on because I yeah. am an author now. Bye. And I. <laughs> yeah. And yours, unfortunately. You are busy helping El Chad mm -hmm. because it has lasted longer than than an hour. Than four hours. <laughs> than four hours. So El Chad is in a lot of pain right now. Uh, are you are you uh, seeing it down? You gotta, you gotta <laughs> bloodlet it. it. Yeah. Oh, leech. We need a leech. Yeah. It just it's it's just <laughs> It's just El Chad laying on a table and <laughs> Yara's holding his axe up and it's like, hold still. <laughs> and we cut away really quick right before we see what happens. Cut back to our med. He's going, if I have 100 friends, Horace is one of them. If I have 50 friends, Horace is one of them. If I have <laughs> literally no friends, one else. There's no one else. <laughs> He's like struggling to fumble this, with this lighter to get this brick going on his new hookah. <laughs> That's a nice hookah. Thanks. I, I, thanks. I, I, I just got it. <laughs> and uh, as he's sparking up, the people who are going to come, I, I assume, will will be wandering into this church and over to the uh, the hookah circle. Our med uh, sparks that little bit of... Uh, of abolith fluid onto it big old plume of smoke comes up it's ready hey guys what's going on uh, i'm surprised to see you <clears throat> uh, i was just watching the wrestling match it was pretty good yeah lots of very interesting k -fob. i'm glad to hear it you, uh, yeah, I'm not going to ask how you got here, but, uh, hey, you well, go I, imagine, I imagine, I imagine we, have you seen the chosen one? Like, uh, we're really running out of options here. No. Oh, dread. I have a feeling at this point, like Tootsie is a dreamscape entity. Yeah, like that is. <laughs> he, uh, Ahmed, uh, he's like, "Fuck it, if they come, they come," and he. Uh, you feel other people. You've sort of, you know, gave the call to to you know oh, yeah. to things. They're so you coming. feel like once this happens, they're all going to show up to wherever you're bringing them. Oh yeah, he's like, "You ready, Horace?" And uh, Ahmed takes a huge huff of this hookah, coughs a fat cloud, and then uh, hands it over to you. I better get some I would... of that thing. Oh, of, of course, my friend, of course. Let me just hit this real hard first, as I do. Uh, and then I'll pass it to Tootsie. <laughs> Tootsie will grasp, grasp it in her, her four claws and is like, well, you know, Dracul's not around to say no, so might as well, right? <laughs> and takes a Hell big, yeah. big, big puff on it. So what is this supposed to do? It all goes black. That is where we will end the Borderlands part of this section. We will hop over to the dreamscape, I imagine. Thanks for watching.
Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more exciting adventures from the Adventurer's Landing.